Jason, um, good evening. Congratulations. Uh, another 1 0 win. It's, it's becoming a nice habit, this. Yeah, we'll take a 1 0 all day long. But yeah, no, it was a great performance, great battling performance from the boys. Really had to stand up second half and be counting. And I thought every one of them did that. It was really good. A slight change in, in team shape before the game. What was your thinking um, regarding the changes? Yeah, so Aaron Pierre picked up a calf injury uh, on Tuesday night. So obviously, with that ruling out, another centre half, obviously, we're struggling in that department at the moment with Matty Pennington, Brad Walker being out. So um, we just had to change the shape a little bit. Obviously, that might have surprised Swindon a little bit as well, but we feel that the personnel we had in the team uh, that had worked well, and I think it did work well, and I think we deserved the victory. How difficult is that to do at such short notice? Yeah, it was, to be fair, but obviously the, the gaffer gave, gave us a lot of guidance again on what to work on, and we nailed a lot of detail down Thursday, Friday in training. And although after a hard midweek game for the lads, there was a bit of training ground work, but we knew we needed to do it, and you could see everybody knew the jobs in that formation and, on, and everything today, so I think it was well worth the uh, detail and everyone mucked in together and we got the result. Harry Chapman's become a real match winner for you, hasn't he? Another really good goal. They always look great when they're going off the post like that too. Yeah, it was a great, it was obviously great hold up play by Curtis Main and Chappie running in, which we'd worked off uh, in training and it came off nice and yeah, it was a great strike and like you say, to see it come off the post and nestling was a great feeling. But yeah, Chappie is a match winner definitely and not only that, he's working really hard for the team. He went off late on, shortly after going down. Was that an injury or just tactical? No, we, we were thinking about taking either him or Sean Worley off just because of the amount of running they'd done in the last week. Um, and it was kind of a toss-up between the two of them. And at the time, Chappie got a bit of cramp, so it kind of made our decision easier. So we just took Chappie off just to... Usually, once you cramp up in a game, it keeps coming for the rest of the game. So it was better to just to get him off and get some fresh legs on at that point. What did you make of um, Curtis Main on, on debut? He held the ball up really well for you at times, didn't he? Yeah, I thought he was... Unbelievable. Uh, his centre forward plays work for the team, putting his body on the line. It's exactly what we need the number nine in that uh, spot to do. And Dan Udo's been doing that in all the other 1 0 victories, don't forget. And Dan Udo even said to me at half time what a handful he is and that he can learn off him. And that just shows what a great lad Dan is, really. But, and there's no saying they won't play together at some point as well. But uh, no, I think it was a great centre, form, centre forward performance. And uh, yeah, he put in a great shift on his first game for the club. Yeah, this time midfield who got through plenty of work for you again, didn't they? The, the work rate of Norben and Vela in there has been key. Yeah, I've said it before, like when them two are on the game, they're the best two in the league at it and they they run games from that midfield, the engine room as they call it, and no, they were they were all over the show for the boys today. Even even the challenges in the air, they're so good at winning headers and second balls and the positioning and speak about them being good friends off the pitch and you can see they back each other up on the pitch and obviously Gossi ahead of them made some great runs in behind and he troubled their team all day long as well so yeah it was a great shift by Gossi as well When you've got a team in a slightly different shape defending a 1-0 lead and you've got a two centre-backs who are used to, to playing in a three recently you've got a, a right back who hasn't played an awful lot of football this season you've got a, a left back who's in what third senior game how much is down to tactics and preparation and how much is just desire to see that one out late on? You must be really pleased with how they finished the game. Yeah, I think you've summed it up in that word desire. That last 10 minutes was just pure desire. If you think about the two centre-halves we're talking about as well, who had a clash of heads after 30 seconds of the game, the way they stood up and were warriors for the whole 90 minutes won every header was unbelievable. And then you talk about Donald and Nathan tucking in as the full-backs did. Nathan's not only played his third game in a week, his first three full games, but he's changed formation as well, had all that to deal with and take on board. And I think that game today was his most important game and he stood up again. I said to him before the game, don't get bored with being the best player because he was the best player in our last two games and he stood up like a man today, last 10 minutes. He was heading balls, putting his body on the line. And like you say, Donald as well, not had much football. I think the pair of them were excellent, the whole back four, the whole team. And just finally, Aaron, David Davis has, has come on in, in a couple of games. He's got a job to try and get into this team. But when he has come on, he's come on in a more advanced role than I've seen him playing in before. Is, is that a job that you think he can do for you as a, a more attacking midfield player? Well, I think when he's come on in the stages that he has done, uh, not so much Tuesday night, but today, it was more to give us energy higher up, uh, to get all over there, sitting midfielder. 
and Vels and Norbs are so used to them positions, what they play so well. They don't leave the middle of the pitch, they protect the back four, that it was just to get Digger's legs around their, their kind of quarterback, just to run all over him, really. And I think he did that well. Towards the end, we changed to a diamond just because they had, and we needed two up top for something to hit and something to press, so they didn't have as much time on the ball to pump balls into our box. But I think we changed it at the right times, and obviously that was through speaking to the manager as well. And uh, everyone, the subs made a good, di a big difference for us because Sean Worley had done an unbelievable amount of running again, as he always does in his third game in a week. Gossi had as well, so the, the subs who came on did really well. It was a great team performance, squad performance. I hope he's paying your phone bill, the amount he's ringing you and telling you what to do. <laughs> no, I get three minutes, it's fine. Aaron, congratulations. Thanks a lot Thank for you. joining us. That's Aaron Wolf.